name is David Morgan. My sport is Olympic weightlifting. I've competed in three Olympic Games and uh, five Commonwealth, uh, sorry, six Commonwealth Games, of which I managed to win five. Um, and I currently hold five Masters world records. Yeah, actually just quoted there, you're, you're quite decorated in terms of your medals and achievements. What do you think it was that made you so successful? Well, when I was, when I was nine years old, I don't want to make this story too, too drawn out because it's quite a long story, but I was always interested in um, superheroes and Marvel comics and at the time, when I was nine years old, you know, we're going back sort of uh, 35 years, 36 years, um, they didn't have the sort of technology that they've got now. So all these things are now coming back, like The Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man. They're all, they're all big films now, but at the time they didn't have the technology, but they did have the comic books. So I used to get the comic book, and um, I was just fascinated with, you know, with, with strength and you know, people that have got superhuman abilities. Uh, anyway, so I was reading the comic book one day, and there was an advert, and, and, and it's the most politically uncorrect advert in the world. Um, it was the Charles Atlas advert, and, and you're probably too young to remember it, but it was the advert of the skinny guy on the beach getting sand kicked in his face, goes off, does the Charles Atlas bodybuilding course, comes back, beats up the bully, completely, blissfully incorrect, goes off with the girl, you know, and I thought, yeah, I'd quite like to get some muscles and beat up the bully and go off with the girl. So I ordered the course, and uh, it came through. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't weights or anything, it was just like press-ups and um, standing in front of a mirror you know, breathing deeply, and yeah, you know, it was this kind of stuff. But but that's what kind of initially got me in, interested. And you know, I did I did get some improvement from doing that. You know, you can get you can do more and more press ups even when you're when, when you're nine years old. Um, and then a couple of years later, I, I went to see the film Pumping Iron, which which uh, I think it was 1975, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I looked at Arnold Schwarzenegger and looked at Charles Atlas and thought Arnold was a bit bigger and a bit stronger. And of course, the reason being, because he was using not just his own body weight, but using weights so he could progress and get stronger. So, so I then started using some weights. I got a set of weights at uh, Christmas, just a little barbell with some body sculpture, um, and started doing some training in my, in my bedroom. And uh, as time went on, I became less and less interested in, in the kind of physical appearance, and more interested in what you could actually do. So in 1978, I watched the Commonwealth Games um, and saw the weightlifting. Saw these guys that were not massively muscled, but they were lifting huge weights, and I just thought, that's what I want to do. So I just, 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 just threw myself into it, and uh, by 1982, I was at the, I was at the Commonwealth Games. And obviously, you still competed. Oh, I'm sorry, you competed at the 2002 Commonwealth Games, uh, age 37 at the time. Was it really tough to, to stay on top of all the young guys gunning for you? Oh, was it tough? Yeah, I mean it's 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 interesting because I did the I did the Commonwealth Games in 1982 when I was uh, the day after my 18th birthday, and I I wasn't expected to win that. Every, everybody thought I was going to lose except me, you know. And, and when you're that age, you kind of you're full of confidence, aren't you? And I went there and did win it. And then 1986, everybody expected me to win because I was at the sort of peak, if you like, of my of my career, and I, you know, which I did. Um, then in 1990, again, I was kind of I was kind of expected to. To win as I was in 1994 so you know they were kind of expected um, <clears throat> then the 1998 games came round, and I thought right this is a chance to do something unique because no one's ever won I mean Precious McKenzie won four Commonwealth games so I'd equaled that but nobody had ever won five and uh, if I'm honest it, it, that was one of the weirdest things that ever happened to me because I because I I got complacent before that competition. I stopped doing the things that I'd done before that, that, that made me the champion before. You know, silly things like, um, you know, certain little injuries I didn't, didn't, didn't attend to properly and, you know, certain things I just thought, oh, it'll be all right on the day. And it taught me a really big lesson because, because it wasn't all right on the day. And, um, you know, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't win my fifth title. And if I'm honest, after that, you know, I did, I did take quite a knock. And uh, for about a year after that, I didn't, even, I didn't even go in the gym. I wasn't interested in weightlifting. I just thought that was my one chance in 98. You know, I'm going to be too old by 2002. Um, so I didn't even go in the gym for a year. Um, and then a friend of mine phoned me up one day. And he said, uh, 
let's go to let's go to Glasgow on a, on a sort of sort of you know drunken weekend. And I thought, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So we so you start booked the flights and everything, and we're, and we're staying with 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 a, with a guy called John McHugh and some lunatic Scottish weightlifter that we used to know. So we went down and um, and it was all a bit of a con really because. What he'd, actually, what he'd actually done is he'd taken me there because the World Masters Weightlifting Championship was there. So, um, so he said, oh, we'll just nip in and have a look at the World Masters. And I was like, well, he goes, oh, we'll just nip in. So we nipped in, coincidentally, on the day that my weight class was lifting. And we sat and watched it, and he went, and he, and he was just sort of sitting there, he goes, what do you think? And I was going, yeah, yeah, it's all right. And he goes, I think you could, you could beat him, couldn't you? And I was like, I'm not interested. So anyway, we left, went out for a pint, a couple, a couple more pints. I said, and then I said, yeah, all right, I, I could be him. I reckon I could be him. <laughs> you know, five more points later, I was back in training for the Commonwealth Games in, in, in 2002.